Hi, many of you have asked us in the past about using non-compliant base coat to repair cars. Well today, here's one for you. I'm going to repair this Skoda using Standox Basislac. During the video, I'm going to concentrate on general application and blending into adjacent panels. Now of course, before I can start painting, I need to make the base coat ready for use. And as always, you need to consider the size and type of job and also the climatic conditions in which you're working. To help you, we have a range of thinners and reducers available. I would suggest that you check the TDS to make sure that you get the right one. To adjust the Standox base coat, I can add between 50 and 60% MSB thinner. For these more critical colours, I advise to use 60% as this will help me with my mottling control and flake orientation. Now of course from the system, I have my base coat colour. But I also have this very useful product, Base Coat Colourless. The advantage of using base coat colourless in a repair like this is it will help disguise any preparation scratches on the blending panel and it will also help produce a smoother, nicer transition with good lay down in the blending area. Now it's time for me to get on with the repair itself and the first stage of the process is to apply the base coat colourless. Now you'll see I've got this small additional repair in the centre of the door here which complicates things a little bit but I'm going to treat this as the blend panel and apply the base coat colourless to the whole area. A little bit down here, and I'll flick a little bit up onto the top rail as well. Let me do that, and while that's flashing off, I can then talk to you about the base coat application itself. Now it's time for the base coat itself. And as you can see, I've almost got two repairs in one here. But isn't that normal life? Now, base coat is applied in two to three coats normally. For my first coat, I'm going to apply a full coat, but without being over wet to the main area, before stepping back a little bit, dropping my pressure down, and then just blowing my base coat, almost pushing it back a little, just so that I restrict the area, don't create too much overspray, and then I allow myself enough room for blending in the final coat. So that's the first coat applied, and that's going to take around about five to ten minutes to flash off. While it's doing that, let's think about the next stage of the process. For my second coat, I need to apply a medium control coat, slightly extend the distance, which will help me control my mottling and give me good effect orientation. Now, with this type of repair, normally I would extend each coat beyond the first one, but of course I've also got this added complication here. So what I'm going to do is come again a little bit this way, reduce the pressure and actually finalise my blend with low pressure before allowing a final 10 to 15 minute flash off for clear. Just one point, if I needed a third coat, if I didn't have hiding, I would apply that in exactly the same way as my second coat. Okay, so now I've done that, I'm just going to finalise this little bit for the second coat at about 0.8 of a bar. Now this is already looking quite good. But on this kind of critical colour, what I'm going to do is just reduce my pressure to 0.5 as you can see 
and just work with a very fine coat just to make sure that I have nothing visible on the blend edge. Now before I finalise the repair with clear coat, just let me make a couple of points. You will have seen of course that I had very limited room to work here and so it was necessary for me to use low pressure just to finalise the blend and make that smooth transition. Don't be tempted though to make that fine drop coat over the dried panel, otherwise you are going to change the colour, change the effect appearance and also you will definitely cause dye back in the clear coat. And remember to remove overspray in between coats by using the tack rack. Now I can use any of our medium solid clears to finalise this job or I have the option of using some of our VOC compliant clear coats. Please make sure that you check the clear coat technical data sheet to ensure compatibility with this base coat. So there we are, the finished job. Everything great from colour, mottling, the blending, no problems at all. If you've got any more questions regarding this base coat quality, please let us know. But for now, thanks for watching. See you again soon.